And this is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the Navy League in New York City. Today, I have a chance to chat with Captain Greg Case of the United States Coast Guard, who talked to uh, the group today. And uh, Captain Case, one of the things you highlighted were the many uh, missions of the Coast Guard. You highlighted the 11 uh, priorities. What are some of the things that uh, the Coast Guard really spent a lot of time on today? Well, we spend the most time on uh, security, homeland security duties, coastal security and waterway security, port security. Um, search and rescue has always been our bread and butter, and that continues to be. Uh, marine safety is growing enormously in this country, so there's more shipping and more uh, complexities with our sea lanes and our ports, and that takes a lot of our time. Uh, marine environmental protection, migrant interdiction, drug interdiction, um, fisheries work is important. So there's just a, a, a whole bunch of things that are occupying our time. As so you mentioned coming from a command in St. Petersburg, Florida, where uh, the weather is a big factor, uh, uh, unexpected storms that uh, private uh, boat owners don't always, uh, inexperienced boat owners don't always uh, expect. What were some of the things that, uh, some of the challenges, some of the things that you worked on when you were in St. Petersburg? Well, we worked a lot on search and rescue because of that, uh, because of the stormy weather and that people would uh, um, go farther off from shore because of the shallow waters. Um, we worked a lot on migrant interdiction and we helped out the other sectors that were south of us in the Caribbean and provided them ships and people to help them out. Um, and then we, we did a lot with, uh, with the port and uh, big shipping chemicals, uh, making sure that uh, they were secure and safe coming into the port of Tampa. Very good. And uh, you spent a little time going over some of the equipment needs of the Coast Guard. You mentioned that uh, uh, you've got online uh, six of the new national security cutters, the larger uh, uh, cutters, but that you need to replace a lot of 1960s smaller cutters. Uh, why is that a big priority for the Coast Guard? Well, because um, the, the ships right now are, in, are of such an age and in disrepair that they're less reliable. And in order to prosecute all those missions and stay kind of in the fight, we need uh, new vessels. So we, we're putting a lot of effort um, towards recapitalizing that fleet. And, and a, lot, a lot of that is these medium endurance cutters or um, op, um, offshore patrol cutters that, that, we, that will be next on line after the national security cutters. And you mentioned 41,000 active duty Coast Guard men and women serving our country every day. What are some of the roles that they play? What are some of the things they really enjoy about their job? Well, I, I think they enjoy the mission. I think they enjoy um, doing something beyond themselves and serving the nation. I, that's why most of them come in, and uh, and they're they're sharp young folks these days. They're highly educated. They're motivated, and it's just a joy to work with them. Very good. And uh, you've had an illustrious career in the Coast Guard, nearly 30 years of service. Uh, tell us about some of the the highlights along your path in the uh, uh, in the United States Coast Guard. Well, I've been, uh, I've been fortunate to be able to work in, on the East Coast, on the West Coast, the river system, the Great Lakes, even the Gulf. And so um, each area is different, has its own challenges, but they're, they're also just being part of the, the local uh, community has been fantastic and getting to know people along the way and, and just being able to protect the, the country in each of these areas has been a privilege. Well, Captain Greg Case, thank you for your service. Thank you for all the work of the members of the Coast Guard. We see them out there in the boats and the helicopters all around New York City, and we appreciate what everybody does to keep us safe. Well, thank you very much. It's our privilege to do that. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio in New York City at the Navy League.